Only with Steve Hughes. And I currently live with ALS. Pro that journey involves using a, a mask like you see that I wear now. And dealing with it when speaking. And he, this video will walk you through my journey, working through a variety of masks for various reasons. And how they work and with the microphones I have. So I can continue to record. Today I'll be using a short passage from Psalm 23 to demonstrate the speaking ability. I'm just going to flash it on the screen here. I will use these words for the every mask and microphone setup so you can see the variety of ways that we have set this up through the past year. As we experimented and learned about the variety of masks and which one works the best for a variety of reasons. So let's get started. So the first mask that I tried was a Evora full face mask, which is really what I use for daytime because it would actually sit underneath my nose and allow me to wear my glasses. I played without glasses, but it also inhibited my speech and ability to talk. But we've been using it since the beginning as a daytime option. So let me demonstrate that mask and the various mic setups that we have. Because I recite the words we talked about. We will be using two different mic configurations. Well, actually three different mic configurations. One that's really not a mic necessarily. Um, and then we're going to use a, a Chattervox mic setup as well as a speaks microphone setup, and we'll show and demonstrate that with the words. So we're going to go through and watch a bunch of demonstrations now, and we'll wrap up at the end of this section with our thoughts on the different pieces. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters, he restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters, he restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Surely goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters, he restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Shall I get this and make it so far with me all the days of my life? As you can see, the uh, Evora full face mask is really a partial mask. Get it, it falls below my nose. This mask allows me to wear my glasses. It was the first daytime mask that we used. It allowed it for me to be mostly functional. The problem became as I became more dependent on the mask. For more hours in the day, it became harder to eat. And my wife would often slip food underneath my mask. And she tried to feed me that way whenever possible because it was easier than taking the mask on and off. What was funny would be when M&M's get caught in the uh, mask itself. That was kind of fun. But she also saw the various bike options. At my desk, as you can see, I used a really nice radio or streaming mic from Elgato. I recommend a really good mic if you plan to record or use your computer to talk as you go forward because it picks you up better. 
It, as you can see, I also did the did some recordings with a mask with no microphone support other than this microphone. I have a recording of a Fabric 5 video done that way, as well as using the mask without a microphone was being done at a speaking engagement I did. So it is possible with some support to speak with that mask, but it's still difficult to hear you, and trust me, in a crowd, you cannot be heard at all. We tried some other options, including using a throat mic with a walkie-talkie, but that wasn't much better. So that led us to Chatterbox, which is the first mic support that you saw, which wrapped around my neck. There are a couple options for microphones from them, but the neck one sounded the best when it's positioned properly. The only issue I had with that microphone was that it would often move when I moved my head because I still had some head movement. Since I can constantly adjust that microphone, it would often fall out of the sweet spot and I could no longer be heard. We also learned about this mic called Speaks from our clinic and we actually ordered it. It does report require prescription, but I recommend it because the microphone sticks to the mask. This can be used with a mask that I demonstrated, but it can also be used with a full face mask if you like you don't need to have wear glasses. Uh it's, which is the kind of mask I wear at night but without the microphone at this time. I I highly recommend this microphone because it doesn't move. It picks your voice up. The speaker is a little... Well, it's really not great right now, but at least you're always picked up and you're amplified. Occasionally, it's hard to understand you, but that's a combination of our ability to have bad speech as well as just the speaker not being of great quality. However, the simplicity of using that microphone setup and not having the need to move it around is really good. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me beside the snow waters. He restores my soul. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. The mask I'm wearing is considered a nose pad or nose pillow mask. Uh, and I no longer use a mic to support my voice because I can speak pretty well. I tried this type of mask early on during my trials of mask and did not like it. To the effect it forced air out through my mouth, making it difficult to talk ironically. But since I've been wearing a mask for six to eight months now, full time, my breathing pattern has changed quite a bit. As you can see, I still have to take a breath to get my voice to work. But on a positive note, most people can hear me now in a casual conversation. Even though I have to take a break every so often because it wears me out to talk still. This option also lets me eat. I have been able to eat more than usual in this method. Will I have a feeding tube to support me? I will say I much prefer eating real food over just taking food through the tube. Now it is easier for my wife to feed me. And I'm able to eat much more than I could in a single setting. I'm still not much faster necessarily because it still takes a while for me to chew and swallow all those things. But at least I can eat with people and real food. We actually went out to a restaurant with this. Recently, it worked well as well. So, it is a good option for you if you're able to do it. I will tell you, 
I will tell you, you need to work at making it work. You will find it uncomfortable to begin with, but the end result is worth it. It's a more livable solution. I will also tell you that we use chapstick on my nose because the nose pads can become uncomfortable and sticky. This has been my experience. Chopsticks used to help heal it the best and keep it lubricated. We tried Vaseline that works for lubrication, but it doesn't heal it as well. So there are options out there depending on what you'd like to try. It does take a while to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's much better. Kids my nose seems to be adapting much better at this time. Finally, at night time, I want to show you my nighttime mask. Oh, where did my shirt be? I saw that once. Well, I don't try to talk this mask very often. It is the third option that I use. And so, realistically, I have three masks that I use in my day-to-day -day life. What I will tell you to do is make sure you work with a respiratory therapist. Trial options. And remember, you may go back to the option you didn't like because it actually works better in the long run. We tried the nose say after we hadn't used it for probably eight months. Just because we were going to go to the dentist and I wanted to have easy access to my teeth. Then it turns out I was able to talk and we liked it so much more we tried different options to we landed with this one. There are various options. You need to try them out and make sure you know it works best for you. Hopefully this helps all of you on your journey while you're working to manage breathing. And I encourage you, like I said, try things out. Remember that not everything is going to work for everybody, but also remember that if you may not think it works for you, but you won't know until you've tried it and give it a fair shot, not just five seconds. Which is why I do on some occasions as well. Thank you to my wife for helping me switch masks out for this demonstration. My dog for looking cute on the couch behind me. I hope all of you have a great day. Remember that you can live with ALS and do more if you seek out options and try different things. Have a great day, everybody.